EPIC, called the European Perspective Investigation into Cancer, is a cohort of around 520,000 participants who were recruited across 10 European countries in the mid to late 90s, and they've been followed now for around 20 years. So obviously nutrition is vital for maintaining normal physiology, and we know from experimental studies that um, changes in nutrition or certain nutritional factors can, can impact cancer development. What's been difficult is to study the role of nutrition in cancer in, in humans. EPIC was set up with the idea of trying to establish more firm links between nutrition and, and diet and cancer development. EPIC has yielded um, many important publications around um, nutrition, um, obesity, um, metabolic health and their role in cancer. So for example, I'm um, showing that higher consumption of red and processed meat are associated with colorectal cancer, that obesity is an important risk factor for a number of different cancers, that eating fibre is important for reducing risk of colorectal cancer. EPIC is a um, really um, important resource. Um, um, we have blood samples that were collected at recruitment from around 380,000 participants. So obviously that's an important resource for, for doing studies on, on biomarkers, genetics, um, using new technologies such as metabolomics, proteomics to understand the, the causes of cancer. Um, several of the local uh, EPIC centres, for example in France and Denmark, are, are now recruiting the, um, the children offspring of the original partici EPIC participants, so it gives an opportunity for intergenerational studies. Um, so I think EPIC has given a lot, but there's a lot more to, to come. Mm -hmm.